Okay, so we're going to do a tutorial walkthrough of the crypt. We're going to do a, a kind of a speed run, but we're going to explain everything that you're going to see in front of you. What we're doing is we're running straight towards the key. Every single round that you get into, the first, all you have to do is grab two keys and get to the door. It's that simple. Now, the keys are marked on the map, as you can see. We're running to it, and you can see it right there. The mini-map is in the top right. That's how I knew what direction to run. So we're just going to run all the way over here. Uh, looks like we got a door here. We're just going to smash our way right through the door. And boom, there's our key. Now we're going to jump out of here. And we're going to go straight for the enemies. So now we got to kill enemies. And there's the second one. So the first one you got to is just randomly hidden on the map. Usually close to the end. Uh, the second one is you get just by killing husks. So you have to smash the husks as fast as you can, get kills, and eventually they'll drop it. Then you run to the door, which is marked on the map, and you open the door and you're out. Sometimes they can test the door. They'll be attacking you. If they hit you, then you can't get through the door. Now you've got other things that you can look at too, like these golden uh, urns. Golden urns can will uh, they'll drop items. You see urns are all over the place. You can smash them. You get traps ammo, weapons, all kinds of good stuff. This here is uh, a statue. It can be activated if somebody dies. You can activate this and it will revive everybody on your team, but only once. So be careful, don't die. If you, if you do die, a ghost can come over and activate this themselves or one of your living members can activate it to save them and pull them out of that you know problem. So you can smash all of these all the urns and collect all the coins. The coins will just give you better rewards at the end. As you can see, you get coins out of every single one. Now, this is a trap. This particular trap is a, um, a troll trap, as you can see. You have to then hit the troll to be able to move, otherwise you're immobilized. Alternatively, you could also just put a floor over it and block it and then you can walk right over it just fine without any problems. This here is an obelisk. This thing is what spawns enemies. So as you can see, they'll spawn all around you and they'll just keep attacking and spawning indefinitely and they'll, uh, they'll attack forever. Now these can be used to your advantage if you want to go and get the, the husk key because you know you need to get husk kills in order to get the key. So you can just kill them and then boom, until the key drops and then you're good to go. Once you're sick of the obelisk, you can just attack the obelisk and destroy it, and then it's gone. Now, following these purple flames is the key to all of these missions. If you want to defeat the mission, and you, you can actually speed run these. If you want to just run through the flames and follow the flames, the flames will lead you to victory. The flames will lead you to places that you have not been yet, and it will always lead you to the end of the map. So, oh, there we go. So this here is a teleportation trap. If you walk onto this trap, uh, we're going to go and send Dragon Boy in here. Hey, Dragon, go check that. Oh, you're gone. Oh, no. So as you can see, Dragon got teleported over there into a, into a prison. And look at that. The key is right here. There's the shadow key. So we kind of got hilariously lucky. The uh, Sometimes these teleportation pads can actually lead you to favorable locations but most often what will happen is you will find these teleportation pads placed very very vindictively right over top like right near exits right near key locations that you're just about to get what you want there's a there's like a key right there and then you get screwed over now this here will drain off all of your shields so you want to make sure that you destroy these things. They're really annoying, but they're easy to kill with weapons. So you just go beat them up and they die. Alright, so we're going to follow the purple flames again. Oh, and what do we have here? It says find the switch. Okay, so this is a secret door. These are optional, usually optional, not not always, but usually optional. What you have to do is you have to go and get close to furniture. And one of the pieces of furniture will be glowing. So there we go. See right there? It's all sparkly and it says open secret door. So that allows you to interact. It's always some piece of furniture that's fairly close by. It will shoot out a beam of light 
and it'll explode the door and unlock the secret room behind it. Usually, there's always a chest there, usually a bunch of urns, and look at all that gold. Tons of gold, we get a present. Ooh, look at that, an Armageddon axe, very nice. Huge upgrade, power level 124, legendary. Tasty. So this here, this here is a wall dart trap. So if you walk in front of this, you get hit by wall darts. There's two different ways that you can deal with this. One, you can kind of edge over until you get a wall in front of it so that you don't get hit. Uh, the other way of dealing with it is if you're not comfortable edging sideways because you're afraid you're going to get tapped, what you can do is you can place a pyramid, edit the pyramid into a ramp over front of it. That way you can walk and you can place a wall from safely behind the pyramid. So that's another nice clever way. Ooh, and that was a rock trap right there. If you walk under, you see the rocks fall on their head. You can block these ones just by putting a ceiling up over them and protecting yourself. That's kind of how you block all traps is you just build over top of it and you protect yourself. Whoa. All right. All right, and so now there's another, as you can see, there's another trap right there. You can just block it and then we're safe. There'll be traps all over the place. There's a troll trap. See, the obelisk is really close to the entrance. So what we're going to do is we're going to block this off. Kill him. And now we're protected by walls. We can get this open before we get hit. If we get hit while we're opening the door, we will get, you know, they will stop us from opening that door. So we got to be careful. So we're going to go down into the depths following the purple flames. Purple flames will always lead you to victory. Oh, trap. Teleportation trap. Oh, oh, I got hit. See, wall darts. I didn't notice them in time. You gotta be careful. At higher levels, those can really hurt. Oh, we got a flames over here. And the flame is in the general direction of the key that helps you to know that you're headed in the right direction. I actually got hit by that trap. That was a failed block. Most of the enemies you can actually avoid entirely. Not generally recommended to avoid mini bosses though. Mini bosses, you want to take them out, get rid of them. Especially if they have annoying special effects on them. Sometimes they'll have hunting effects. There we go. Block that one up. All right, purple flames, always follow the purple flames. If you want to speed run all the way through, you can actually avoid everything and just hit, just follow the purple flames pretty much through the entire level and skip literally like everything. All right. And there's our key. All right, so now we want to go to the exit. Ooh. Follow the purple flames to the exit, and there it is. Block it off. Kill the guy that got in, and open the door before they get in again. <laughs> before they get in and kill me. <laughs> and we're through. All right. The crypt's lower level. All right, so we have a secret door here. Find the switch. There it is right there, open secret door. Boom. And there we go. Tasty, look at all those good weapons. Lots of tasty stuff. All right. Ooh, 
teleportation trap. So that's a nasty one. That would have almost guaranteed put us somewhere that we really didn't want to go. Usually backwards. So we're going to keep on moving forward, following the purple flames. There we go. There's a flame. And another flame. And another one. Really nicely. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Evil traps. All right, so what do we got right here? There we go. Now we're going to follow the purple flames all the way out. Purple flames all the way to the exit. Dodging all the enemies because we don't need none of that. Block the entrance and out. There we go. Dungeon boss. Defeat the boss, break the curse. Alright, so the Crypt has one of the easiest bosses in the entire game. This thing's fantastic. Oh, look at that. Our whole team died. So what we'll do is we're going to go and activate all allies. We're going to revive everybody. And that will bring all of our guys back to life. Now, we can't do that again. We're going to be careful. We're going to kill this Vlad boss here. As soon as you get him down to 50% health, he disappears because he doesn't want to die. He's very weak. This is power level 100, so it, it's, it's, you know, pretty high level. Power level 140, there's one level higher than this, but he's still really, really easy. The Crypts is, is a cakewalk, honestly. The other zones are much, much harder. The Crypts is very much a tutorial. Even the 140 is very much a tutorial into, um... Into doing the dungeons. Okay, so as you can see, there's nine seconds left until Vlad returns. We just had to wait for him to come back. Now we're going to go and throw up some turrets. Right, zero, boom. Turrets are up. And there's Vlad. Boom, dead. And that's the Crips, man. That's how you stomp the Crips into the ground. Easy peasy. Rock and roll.